How can you get a man to marry you? That's exactly what I want to talk about today. Today I want to share 10 very specific tips with you that you can use to motivate him, to inspire him, to say, do you want to marry me? Now let's have a look at the first tip. And the first tip might sound a little bit weird. I mean, some of my Skype coaching clients, when I mentioned that tip, they looked at me and thought to themselves, really? Can it be that easy? Yes, it can. There's actually a big reason why married men live longer than men who are not married. And this reason is very simple, and it's a reason that a lot of women don't even think about. And that's that we men, and yes, I include myself in that, are very bad when it comes to taking care of our health. I mean, I, for example, I'm, yeah, I'm the best example. When I have to go to the doctor, I always push it back and push it back and push it back and I don't want to go. And then I, yeah, reschedule the appointment again. And my girlfriend says, you move your butt there. You go there. It's important. Take care of your health. And that's exactly what you can do to motivate him to say, do you want to marry me? But why is being concerned about his health and making sure that he goes to his doctor's appointments so effective when it comes to him developing the desire to marry you. It's very simple. We men absolutely love when a woman takes care of us. In this sense, I think we never really developed from that stage of being the boy to the man. I have to admit it. It's something that we all love. When a woman takes care of us, when a woman makes sure that we are healthy, and by pointing these things out, by being concerned about his health, you communicate that he can rely on you, and that you are there for him, and that you want to make sure that he's healthy, and this alone can motivate him to want to marry you. And if you then also support his dreams, you support his goals, you support what he wants to do and what he wants to achieve, then he knows you are on his team. However, there are limitations to that. If you are dating a man who has zero ambition, who only plays video games, who never followed through whenever he said, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, then of course you shouldn't naively support his dreams and goals. I don't want you to be trapped with a man for 20 years who tells you for 20 years, oh, I should start my own business, oh, I should be doing this, and who never does anything. That's not what I want you to do. However, if you are dating a guy who has ambition and a man who has already proved throughout his career that he can achieve something, that he is an ambitious man, then of course go ahead and support his dreams, support his goals, because the likelihood that he will succeed is very, very high. And make him feel loved. How do you make him feel loved? By, first of all, always tuning into your heart when you're with him. And even before you're with him. I mean, that's something that I always do in my relationship and it works really, really well. And that's the spiritual side of me speaking. I mean, I'm a very spiritual guy. You might not be. But if you're tuning into your heart and you're creating emotions of love when you're with him, then he will feel that energy. Even if you're not spiritual at all, you have to admit that you can sense the energies of other people. Some people have a very negative energy, others have a positive life-affirming energy, and the more positive your energy is, the more likely it is that he will fall in love with you more and more and more, and that he will eventually ask you to marry him. And if you then combine this life-affirming energy with this love energy, this love frequency, by tuning into your heart and by feeling love for him, and by also, of course, with your physical touch, the way you kiss him, the way you hold him, the way you snuggle up to him, constantly make him feel loved. I mean, why would he ever give up on this feeling? Why would he ever say, oh no, I don't want to have that feeling in my life anymore. I don't want to have love in my life anymore. I mean, if that's the case, then he most likely has some unresolved trauma that he never worked on, which unfortunately a lot of men do. But if he's ready for love, then he will love that you love him and allow him to open up and to be vulnerable. And yes, this is his biggest fear. I would say the biggest fear of every man is to be vulnerable. The biggest fear of every man is to open up and to show his emotions, to show his true self. Because we men are conditioned from a young age to believe that we have to be stoic, we can share emotions. If we share emotions, then we are weak. Oh my God, that's what you're dealing with here. Or let's say that's what you're fighting against. But if you allow him to open up, if you allow him to be vulnerable, if you listen to him, if you communicate that you respect him more for being open, for being vulnerable, for being raw and honest and authentic, then this man 
will fall in love with you and get along with his friends and with his family. This is also an important aspect. I mean, yes, maybe there might be one of his friends who's such a complete dickhead that you can't get along with him. Then have an honest and open conversation about it, and he most likely knows himself, yeah, he's kind of a dickhead, that's not a problem. However, if you don't make an effort to, yeah, to integrate yourself in his life, in his social circle, then it will be very hard for him to come to the conclusion, yes, this is the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. And the worst mistake you could make, and unfortunately, I talked to some women who did that, the worst mistake you could possibly make is to tell him, I don't want you to see your friends anymore, I want you to spend all your time with me. Don't do that. Unless you want to ruin the relationship, please don't do that. I mean, you also don't want to date a guy who tells you, you are not allowed to see your friends, you stay with me in the house. Of course not. In this situation, you should also run faster than the roadrunner can say, meet me. Please always keep in mind that in the same way as you want to enjoy your social life with your friends, he also want to enjoy his social life with his friends. Of course, there are limitations to that. I mean, if, for example, one of his friends always asks him, hey, do you want to go to the strip club? Come on, let's go to the strip club. Oh, that's amazing. Then, of course, there's a limitation. That's something that you shouldn't be cool with. But if he just wants to hang out with his friends every now and day, then please let him do that. He will appreciate it and he will know, hey, even if I'm married with this woman, I can still have my freedom. I can still hang out with my friends. That's exactly what I want, so I can have the best of both worlds. And then he will at some point ask you, will you marry me? And don't forget to talk about the future. And when you talk about the future, paint some beautiful pictures. Let him know that a future with you will be amazing, incredible, that you will have a lot of fun together. You can, for example, tell him about the places you want to visit with him, the countries you want to visit, the amazing experiences you want to have together. And this will again put him in this headspace of, hey, if I'm married with her, yeah, we can still have some adventures. Yeah, I don't end up like one of these sitcom dads. I'm not the stereotypical married guy who doesn't have any adventure in his life anymore. Yeah, that's amazing. I want to marry her. That's what you will put into his mind. And then he will ask you at some point, will you marry me? And always remember that if you give him the feeling that he can trust you 100%, he's way more likely to think, yes, I want to spend the rest of my life with this woman. And this is something that I can confidently, honestly, and with joy in my heart say about my wonderful girlfriend. I trust her 100%. I have to be honest, this is the first relationship that I have where I can truly say, I know with 100% certainty that I can trust this woman 100% and that she's 100% loyal. And this alone gives a man the feeling of absolute security and safety. Because I have multiple businesses, I'm traveling often for business, and the only way how a relationship can work for me is when I can trust my partner 100%. And this is what she provides for me. This is the energy she provides for me. And that's why I'm incredibly happy in my relationship. And if you can communicate to him with your actions, with your beliefs, with, yeah, with your personality, with your values, that you are the woman he can trust, then he's way more likely to ask you to marry him. So yes, trust is a big, big thing. And what's also a big, big thing is your love life. Yes, we can't ignore that. I mean, when it comes to having a fulfilling marriage, you want to be centrally compatible, if you know what I mean. And if you every now and then introduce new ideas, new roleplay ideas, for example, new toys that you could experiment with, new places where you could have fun, then again, this confirms to him, yes, this woman is adventurous. Yes, with this woman, I won't end up like the stereotypical married guy who has no love life and no adventure in his life. But hey, with this woman, I can actually experience some pretty amazing things. And yes, then he's way more likely to think, I want to spend the rest of my life with her. And if you then also communicate always with empathy, then he will be totally into you, smitten by you, he will be amazed by you, and he will ask you to marry him. Because when you communicate with empathy, even when you're having an argument, or let's better say especially when you're having an argument or a disagreement, you can put yourself in his shoes. You can try to understand what he's feeling and what he's thinking in this situation. And this will help you so, so much when it comes to the communication 
in your relationship. And speaking of communication in your relationship, you also want to make him so obsessed with you that he can't even think about any other woman. And you do that with, yes, the right form of communication. In fact, you do that by activating his hero instinct because every man wants to feel like a hero. I mean, why do you think we are watching all these superhero movies and fantasizing about being heroes? So if you can activate this hero instinct, it's almost guaranteed that at some point he will ask you to marry you. And if you want to find out how seven of my amazing clients did exactly that and achieved exactly that, then you can go to gethimkeephim.com slash obsession. That's gethimkeephim.com slash obsession. Or alternatively, if you don't want to read about their experiences for whatever reason, then you can also go to gethimkeephim.com slash letter. That's gethimkeephim.com slash letter to then read more about the psychology behind this incredible method to make you a dream guy that he will ask you to marry him. And if you enjoyed watching this video, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. Share your opinion, share your thoughts. I would love to hear from you. And I would love it even more if you would hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video.